Down to the dungeons. My turn. Your turn. You guys really went down there? Yes, sir. Well, we were younger than that. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. Turn on your light. On your home. <laughs> if I don't go back, tell the people where I am. Well, this building was the home of all the Masonic fraternity in St. John's. It's been a long time. We moved out in uh, 17 years ago, and uh, it's been a long time since we've been back, except for a couple of visits to the dinner theater. Well, I wonder if the ghosts are still upstairs. <laughs> they probably are. When this building was built, there was a really high membership of Freemasons, and there was prime ministers and lawyers and doctors, and there was a lot of money involved. It finally got to a point where our, our membership declined and we really couldn't afford to keep the building. And have you guys seen it since? No, no haven't. we haven't. No. Yep, I might have joined up here. <laughs> I didn't know what was gonna happen. Wow. Wow, that's amazing. Y'all yeah, seeing all right. still there. Okay. It's called the all-seeing eye. It just keeps an eye on us, and that's where the, we would say the master would sit up there, and there used to be a big metal plaque behind there. They've taken it down now, but I didn't know that big G was there behind that. That's, that's new to me. This is a, the carpet, and it's a similar carpet at our new building. It has the square and compass, which is a universally uh, recognized symbol of uh, Freemasonry. How about this cool tile inlay in the floor? Yeah, it's uh, referred to in part of our Masonic rituals. It's, uh, it's, it's called the tessellated pavement. You've probably seen this building, and you've heard a lot about signs and secret signs. and. You know, they're just there to remind us, you know, about our rituals and, you know, we're not really a secret society, we're just a society that has some secrets. <laughs> uh. oh. This is kind of freaky. <laughs> wow. Well, it's, uh, it's referred to as a pit and uh, Let's say that there's a lesson learned in that ceremony that you will never forget. Mildly terrifying? Mildly. Yeah, this room, I, I remember this one pretty good. <laughs> when I looked down there, I wasn't sure. I mean, you know. The building uh, was held by the Masons until 2008. Uh, and that's when I believe the spirit of the Newfoundland purchased it from them and ran their theatre company here for many years. They did countless performances in this room. Until now, they were the only other owners. So for such a long-standing building, uh, it's only changed hands three times. The future of this space, um, we're thinking about it in a broader sense of not just this building and what it can be, but how it fits into the fabric of the arts and culture community um, in Newfoundland and Labrador and beyond. We're trying our best uh, to document and to preserve what we can. Uh, it is a building that needs a lot of work, uh, but there are some real treasures here. Obviously, there's some symbolism that is tied to the Masons and we want to be respectful with them. It's so easy to take something like this and just want to modernize it. Uh, but we think a better fit for the city is bringing it back to more of um, an older kind of aesthetic uh, while looking to the future. It is hard to see, but um, when we were here, when the building was functional, I mean, it was just awe-inspiring when you came into the room. The first night I joined, that's <laughs> you know, I was just kind of overwhelmed and I'm thinking, wow, this is like a Buckingham Palace. <laughs> it was great to see the building again and uh, happy to know that there are plans in place to uh, restore the building and uh, look forward to being able to come back and see the building once it's restored. Mm -hmm.